Welcome to this presentation on how to set up a payment plan and pay by eCashier. Make sure you are logged in to WebAdvisor. Your name should appear here. Click on Payment Plans. On the next screen, enter your seven digit student ID number. Enter your birth date in the requested format. Select the term. Click Calculate Tuition. Your personal profile information appears. Verify the term and tuition amount. Then click on eCashier. On this screen, please note the information about the non-refundable fees. Then click Proceed. The system returns your information. Type in the required fields for the person making the payment. All required fields are marked with an asterisk. Scroll down. Type in an alternate email address where you or the person making payments can be reached. Note that this is a required field. It must be entered twice. It is also required to set up an access code, which should be 4 to 10 characters long. It should be both letters and numbers. Type the code twice and make sure you remember it. Going forward, you will need this code to access your online payment account. You can grant access to an authorized party who can act on your behalf. This is optional. When you are ready, click Proceed. The system returns various options for payment plans. Click the option you prefer. Here we will select the first option. When you have made your selection, the system returns a message about the non-refundable enrollment fees. Click OK to proceed. The budget worksheet for the selected payment plan appears. On this page, you can include payment for books into the plan. Make sure you coordinate this transaction with the bookstore. Here we are entering $95 for book fees. If there are records about financial aid in the system, they will appear on this page. Click Calculate. The total amount is displayed. The system lists the down payment that needs to be processed at this time and suggests the number of monthly payments and the amount of each payment. You can make changes to the suggested payment plan. Here we are changing the suggested down payment to $200 instead of zero. Click Recalculate to generate a new payment plan. An alternate payment plan appears. You can reset this form as many times as you need. When you are ready, click Proceed. On the next screen, you can select the payment method, bank account or credit card. Here we are selecting the credit card option. Click Proceed. Now you can enter your account information. Please note that the down payment as well as any scheduled monthly payments will come out of this account. Back at the WebAdvisor main menu, click Log Out in order to protect your personal account information. The system logs you out and reminds you to close your browser. Click OK.